Hi guys and welcome to my holiday room tour for 2019. You guys know how much I absolutely love doing room tours. I love doing Christmas room tours especially and this year it is set up um, differently from how I've ever done it in past. So I mean I have the same decorations it's just a different layout but I thought I'd start off this video by showing you guys my cute outfit I put together today because I had a lot of fun. So starting off is this hat that my friend Taxonomist gave to me. It was either for my birthday or for Christmas. I don't remember which one it was, but it is adorable. You can attach it down here if it's cold and you want to do that, but I just left it open for now. Um, my earrings, you probably can't see at all, but they're like red and pink peppermint striped. I don't even know if they're showing up, but they are candy themed. And then my shirt is just a Hello Kitty. Um, I found this at Goodwill and it has red and white peppermint striped sleeves, which are my favorite thing about it. There's Hello Kitty and then it just has this checkbox that says cute, sweet. It also says nice down here, but you can't really see it because it's all tucked in. So anyways, then for a skirt, I have this plaid green and red. It has this tool underneath, which is really nice. And then I have my Christmas lace leggings that have all this fun pattern on them and my usual slipper boots that I wear around the house so my legs aren't cold but um, yeah then I have a green scrunchie on this wrist and a red scrunchie on this wrist had so much fun putting this outfit together so um, anyways I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the room tour so um, since I'm already here I'm gonna show you this is my mirror on the door um, there is this sprig of colorful, amazing sequinness up here that I just stuck up there. And then I have some glittery snowflake garland that is going around the mirror. I really like this. I decided to put it here. Sometimes I put it over my window, but I liked it here. And then you can see I put some gel clings up this year as well. Um, I have so many gel clings left over from when I did hamster cage tours and I decided to put some up on my mirror. There's some more that's down here as well. So that's just a really fun entrance for um, my room. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you the rest of it. You can kind of see it behind me. It's really colorful and fun. Forgot to show you guys, there's also this hanging bell hanger on my door and it does make noise every time I close the door, but that's okay. It's really fun. So in case you haven't figured out already, my theme for this year is colorful, um, candy themed, and I have some frozen things mixed in as well to celebrate Frozen 2 that came out in November. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the room tour. I hope you have fun watching. Starting off to the left when you walk in my room, I have a giant candy cane behind these Olaf plushes and these are not all of my Olafs. I took a couple from the frozen room and decided to put them here, but this corner right here is a little bit too small to put all of the Olafs. So if you're wondering where the rest of them went, I do still have them. They're just in the other room. So um, those always make me smile when I come in because they're just like looking right at me. Um, you can see I have a pink rug in the middle of the room. And then up here, this is my cabinet unit. And I have one tree that is on this side. This is a green tree. And I have a pink tree that is on the other side. I'll show you in just a minute, but I'm just gonna pan down so you can get an idea of some of the ornaments I have. There's like donuts, bubble gum machines. There's a unicorn. This is a miniature nutcracker that I really like Nutcrackers because they remind me of the Nutcracker, which is like a ballet thing. So um, this one here is my hamster wonton. You might remember I posted this in one of my Instagram stories and uh, that's that ornament. There's a lollipop back there. I really like that one. Uh, another unicorn. This is the one of the new ornaments that I got this year. Looks so cute on this tree. And this little springy little dachshund. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then I have a pink tree skirt that is underneath that has some sequins on it. Oh yeah, this is the hamster ball one that Sparkle Girl sent me and it sings the hamster, hamster dance song, which I can't play on the video because I think I'll get a copyright strike. But anyways, it's really cute. Then over here, there is this colorful gingerbread house and I have a tree that is made out of like what do you call this? Polyfill, I guess. And then these little pom-poms. It's really, really cute. Um, 
So yeah, that is what is over here on this cabinet. So if you turn facing my bed, I have a giant peppermint candy up in each corner. There is a hot pink one in the left corner and then a lime green color in the right corner. And then going across my window, this is one of my favorite parts of my room this year. I have this light up donut garland that my mom surprised me with, but this is just what it looks like. And then these pom-poms up here that's on this garland. This is something that I made a DIY project of. You just glue pom-poms onto ribbon basically, but it's so fun and colorful. And then I have this very overexposed white sequin curtain that you kind of can see. It has silver glitter sparkles on it. And then I have my bed with a lot of pillows and plushes. Um, I had to pick and choose which plushes to put on here because it was kind of just overflowing and it would also take me like 10 minutes to make my bed in the morning. So I chose these ones. So over on the right side is this Rila Kuma. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I put a pink Santa hat on her so that she would look more Christmassy, but this was a birthday gift from Taxonomous this year. It is adorable. I like this cupcake she's holding and I thought it went perfectly for the sweets theme. Then I have just a sequin pillow. I have this pink penguin plush. Back here is a donut pillow that my mom also found for me. I can't remember where she got it from. And then on this side, there is a sequin donut pillow that does the two different colors. There's turquoise on one side and then there's like purple. This I had got from Hobby Lobby over the summer. And then there's my Build-A-Bear rainbow. Um, I stuck a bow up on her head here <laughs> and then she also has this really colorful dress. This is my absolute favorite outfit for her because it's so colorful. Um, she's holding a lollipop in one hand and then a little frozen snow gi in the other. Behind that there is a large frozen pillow and then I also have this blanket which has Christmas print on it and I put this on my bed at night. Um, then I have this snowflake printed um, blanket down here and then there's yet another blanket. I wanted to add as much color as possible so I have all these blankets. Um, that's a frozen one. It just says family forever. I thought that would be nice to put out not just because it adds color but because frozen came out this year and I just wanted to add that. So that is what my bed looks like. I really love how colorful and vibrant everything is. So then if you turn to the other side of my room there's another cabinet and on this one I have the pink tree that I told you guys about. So once again, I will just pan down and let you guys look at the different ornaments that I have on it. Again, all candy themed and colorful. Um, just really, really fun. I have so many memories of going shopping with my mom to collect these different ornaments every year. We tend to find one or two every year. This year I found, I think, a couple more than that. but. Um, anyways, it's just like a fun tradition we do. This tree you'll notice has a tree skirt that is turquoise, whereas the other tree skirt was pink. So that's really fun. I also have this colorful gingerbread house over here. There's this sweet themed nutcracker that is so awesome. I have not seen one like it since I think I got it from Hobby Lobby as well. And then another one of these styrofoam trees, just like the other side of my room. I also forgot to show you guys earlier, I have these snowflakes that are just felt and I found these at Dollar Tree. I like them up on the wall. They help cover some of the bright white walls that I have. Okay, so then in this corner of my room, I have a mailbox that says, let it snow. And this I found so many years back at Michael's. Again, they haven't had anything like it since. and. Then there's just some little snowmen that are on a sled next to it and um, some more Olafs and Snowgies <laughs> over there on the right. I just had to stick those in there. Then I have a white cabinet that I stuck some more things on. So first of all, I have a snowman. There's a mouse plush, um, a little tin box present. And then I have these donut trinket trays that my mom found with the donut lights. Or, or no, actually she found these at Dollar Tree, excuse me. And they had a set of four of these that they had 
one that had pale blue with sprinkles and then pale pink with sprinkles. I wanted those two so bad to complete my set, but I have not been able to find them anywhere. So that's unfortunate, but at least I have those two. And then above them, I have a sign that says, Happy Holidays. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my closet area. And this is still a work in progress somewhat. It's not exactly how I want it to look yet, but um, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. So over here, I have some ice cream cone garland that I actually found this. This was after season from Target summer stuff, and it was... 50% off, so it was only like a dollar fifty. It was crazy. So I have one on that side, and then I have another one on this side, and um, that pulls in the sweets theme really well. So then above that, um, well, I have these turquoise curtains you can see, and then there's this colorful tool that is just going across the top. I also have a bell wreath, and then some Happy Holidays DIY garland that I had made for a hamster cage years ago. I just decided to put it up there and make it a little bit more colorful. And then this is my turquoise tree that is originally kept year-round in the frozen room, but I brought it in here for Christmas to be able to enjoy it. I only have three ornaments on it. There's the Olaf that you see there, there's an Anna, and then there's an Elsa. And then I just stuck some little snowflakes on the corners here, so, and also the garland. So then on the left side, um, there is a mouse ballerina, and she has a donut for a tutu. I thought that was hilarious. And then on this side, there is a pink one. Below the tree are some more of those tin box presents, and then there's a pink lollipop I have on one side and a turquoise lollipop on the other. So that is just what that tree looks like in the middle. Starting at the top shelf, there's a gingerbread train that has three snow globes. So when you tip it upside down, it has snow inside of it. And then there's a penguin plush that's just sitting on the edge of the shelf. And the shelf below that, there's a gingerbread house that matches the gingerbread train and it's all glittery so this one actually lights up inside and I haven't put batteries in it yet so um, it looks really cool when it's lit up though there's a gingerbread looking cookie in the front a tin that has a mouse on it that matches that mouse plush that I showed you guys earlier and then these are some felt DIY Christmas trees that I made one year Below that is a plaque that says Season's Greetings and it has two Olafs behind it. Um, I'm really sad because when I went to take this out of the box this year to set it up, I don't know what happened, but something happened and I broke it over here and I'm really sad. So I'm going to try to see if I can maybe fix that or hide it or something. But um, then the shelf below, there's a mini tinsel tree that I had made that's like hamster size. There's little presents around it. And um, then on this side, there's this one, which actually came with some like bath stuff in it. And I would saved the tree. This one lights up. Again, I don't have batteries in it. And then there's a little penguin. And then down here is a light box that just says Merry Christmas. On the shelf to the right, there are two different stockings that are just miniature. And then I have another one of those giant candy things that this one, I lost the top on it, if you can see. So I can't hang it from the ceiling. So I just stuck it down here, but um, it was a set originally. Then I have another gingerbread train up here. This one actually is supposed to go in my office, but I didn't end up setting up Christmas in my office this year because I didn't really want to have like I didn't have the energy to do it if I'm honest so I put it in here this year then up here there is this two, zoom zoom advent calendar that I did a video unboxing if you guys are interested in seeing that but um, this was really fun and I just set up all the little zoom zooms in here the shelf above that has a photo frame with my past hamster yodel in it um, there is a plaque that says joy a penguin tin and then this is a very realistic looking little chocolate candy if I can get my camera to focus there we go I found this at Goodwill one year and it just looked so real to me so I had to get it to put in the sweets theme then above that I have another joy thing which I'm not fond of having two joy things right there 
but I haven't thought of a better way to arrange my shelves, so I'll have to work on it. But there's another one up here, and then I have two um, Christmas cards. One was from a friend, and then the other one was from my brother. And yeah, that is just what my closet looks like. It's very fun and colorful, and uh, I just wanted to show you guys. The last thing to show you is this December Pusheen calendar that is on the back of my door. And Pusheen is sitting in front of the fireplace with her, I think it's her sister or something. I don't know all the characters, but yeah, it's so cute. They have a gingerbread house too that kind of looks like my gingerbread house. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my room tour. I had a ton of fun setting it up and filming these Christmas videos, the decorating one and the room tour and um hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did so i am going to go ahead and end this now thank you for watching i shall see you in my next video merry christmas bye